I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! <laughs> Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we finished season 4 with Travelog, and today we are taking a look at the first episode from season 5, All Blue Nose. And with these hands, I hold the fate of millions. This title card is kinda great. I just really like how it looks. The colors with the greenish background look amazing, and the imagery with Stimpy with the thick outlines makes it all blend together perfectly. Some really fitting music as well, it's a good one. This intro reminds me a lot of Doubleheader from last season, just because both of them start with the two at the bus station probably. It's kind of interesting, Stimpy has like a TV connected to his chair here, I don't think I've seen that before. It's the Louis Show. Stimpy starts picking his nose until he finds a coin to insert into the TV. I have no idea what this show is supposed to reference, but I'm like 99% sure it's a parody of some old show I've never seen. <laughs> Wow again! I got no idea what's going on. The TV cuts out before we can see a woman get murdered on live TV, and Stimpy wakes up Ren to get some more change. That stuff is really gross. Ren opens up Stimpy's nose while looking pissed and asks him if he spent all their money. Stimpy gives him a big smile back and farts. Because of you, we're gonna starve to death in a bus station! All because of you! Ren slaps Stimpy over the TV chair, which causes his nose to start acting up. Surprisingly, well not surprisingly, really considering the telecard, Stimpy starts singing with a really good voice. Some hits the table, but most hits the plate. A log crowd appears and starts throwing down money, which Ren pockets. I guess this ain't Billy West singing, because even though he has a great vocal range, this is just beautiful, it gotta be a professional singer. All began. Stimpy had become Snatra. The greatest singer of all time! We see the two start with doing the monkey thing on the street while singing to monkeys. Then they go to an elderly home where we see the prototype Wilbur from An Ape Divided. Use your shirt sleeves again and again. Next the duo hits uh, Vegas where the money really rolls in. Ren says that finally Stimpy was a headliner, playing to a really big house. Evaded. A one, a two, a one, two, three. The inmates are loving Stimpy, and a lummox looking man is even brought to tears. Next, someone dies and is thrown on stage as the curtains close. Not only is the trailer back, but we got Abner and Ewald, the salesman, Haggis, the bats from Hermit Wren, and the Lummox Ferry from Jiminy Lummox. Awesome stuff. Wren! Now what's the matter? For once, Stimpy seems to be the one playing Wren's usual role, screaming at Wren to do stuff for him, including making his already made pasta more al dente. And while you're at it, go pick up my underwear! Wren screams and throws the pasta at Stimpy. 
He calls him a big shot, which is probably a reference to that season 1 episode, and if you pause right as he is saying big shot, it really sounds like he is calling him another word, which is kind of funny. You're fat boy! I'm out of here! Telegram for Stimson J. Cat! Even the monkey is back. We haven't seen him since uh, Blazing and Trails, I'm pretty sure. The letter is from uh, Louis Longbubble, asking Stimpy to be on his show, which is a big thing. Hmm. Stimpy looks through the stuff Ren fixed for him, including a Cuban bubblegum cigar, a titanium dinner fork, a kazoo, and lipstick. Unfortunately though, something is missing. Ren? I'm missing my diamond encrusted ivory shoehorn! 1002, 1003, 1004... Ren doesn't care. Stimpy walks up to him to tell him most of the money is his, which gets Ren to snap. He screams that it was uh, Ren who made uh, Stimpy who he is today. It's my money! Uh. Hey, hey, hey! The nose starts talking and says this is the last time Ren hits him. The nose jumps off Stimpy's face. He looks kinda cute. He says he is the real talent. I'm kissing this cuckoo daddy o pad goodbye. Ren says they don't need him, as this guy, whoever he is, says they have two minutes. Stimpy cries that he can't go out there looking like this, and Ren fixes it by getting a pickle. What is new? Now go out there and give him all you got! Make an arm! I guess this is Louis Longbubble? If that's a reference, I didn't get it. He presents Stimpy or Snotra. Uh, that reference I caught immediately, so don't worry about that one. Let's fry away! <laughs> The baboon is back again, two episodes back to back, that's crazy. Ren tries to leave with uh, the money, but he's stopped by Louie. He takes the money and kicks the two out. Sid Sneezer! Nosey returns to the trailer and sings to Stimpy that he is back. Ren is looking crazy, he is not taking this uh, too well. The background here is amazing. They hated me. Look, what do you want me to do? Get down on my nostrils and beg? He asks Stimpy to take him back, and Stimpy picks him up to tell him that they are a team, like mayonnaise and clams. Sure. He eats nosey and he pops out as his nose again. Some bacon too. We'll slice some rind from the pigs behind. The two sing together and it's very wholesome. And that's how the episode ends. I enjoyed this one. They really haven't missed with the season openers even once. Just the singing alone made it a really nice watch, but we also had a cool variation on the plot we have seen a couple times already. It was nice to see Stimpy be the one to be kind of a douche here, and also having Ren be, well, kind of as bad, so it didn't feel too out of character. The visuals were also very solid. Not just with all the returning characters and my beloved trailer, but that definitely helped my enjoyment of the episode. Now, funnily enough, I actually can't find who was the singer in the episode. It just says that everything is a Frank Sinatra parody, but not who is actually doing it. Whoever it is did a great job though. Now, if it actually is, like Billy West, I'm very sorry for the disrespect. Fun fact, the pasta line from Ren was actually not said by Billy West since he was busy and it was read by uh, Brian Mendelssohn, a sound editor. It says a lot that I didn't even notice it, it's impressive. All in all, a good episode and a good start to season 5. Join me next week where we are taking a look at Stupid Sidekick Union. Uh, <laughs> goodbye folks.